Welcome to today's second stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Today is Monday, August 3rd, so hopefully you have a great week. Now, over the weekend, there were reports, there were meetings, there were interviews, there was so much stuff going on over the weekend, but the reports all indicate that even though the meeting between Nancy Pelosi, Charles Schumer, Mark Meadows, and Steve Mnuchin was very productive, it still is a long ways away from getting any deal done. In today's video, I want to address the second stimulus check, I want to address unemployment, and I want to address what we should be seeing either today or early on this week. So all I ask is if you enjoy these second stimulus check updates and stimulus package updates, can you do me a favor? Just make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It just tells YouTube this is a quality video and they should share it with others here on YouTube as well. So yes, even though the meeting this weekend, specifically on Saturday morning, was very productive in the eyes of Nancy Pelosi, they still say they are a long ways away from getting any deal done. Now remember, they have until this Friday, okay? This Friday to reach some type of an agreement. They have until this Friday to pass something before the Senate goes on recess for 31 days from August 7th until September 8th. So based on reports and based on what Nancy Pelosi stated, it is that their staff of our congressional leaders were supposed to have multiple meetings over the weekend. They had a meeting on Saturday and they also had a meeting on Sunday yesterday as well to go over the details of everything that was talked about inside the meeting early on Saturday, okay? So the point of this was hopefully they would be able to put all the details together so that it can be presented sometime today. Now, as of creating this video, it's early Monday morning. It is 3.40 Monday morning, okay? So nobody's there at Capitol Hill. Um, I don't know if something's gonna happen in the next few hours, I guess we'll wait and see. But as of creating this video, there's no new news. And as of publishing this video, there might be some news that comes out and I guarantee you, and I promise I will either do another update later today or I promise I will do a full update tomorrow morning. Now, as of right now, here's what we know. As of right now, in regards to the second stimulus check, that is the one thing that both parties, both the Democrats and the Republicans have agreed on. And as of right now, it's $1,200. It's a one-time payment. It's $1,200 for all filers and $1,200 for their spouse, unless they do not have a social security number. And also, it is $500 for all dependents, no matter the age. And no, for those of you are asking, does this also account for people that owe back child support? No, if you have any back child support that has not been paid, the stimulus check would go to the state first. And if you have anything left over there, then that would be sent to you. But if you owe more than $1,200, then you will not receive a second stimulus check. For people that are on social security, SSI, SSDI, VA, railroad benefits, Yes, as long as you are under $75,000 of income as an individual or $150,000 of income as a couple, okay, a, a spouse or whatever, okay, then you would receive your full um, stimulus check. So yes, as long as you're under that income threshold, you will receive a second stimulus check. If you're over that, then that's where it will get complicated. You'll either get a partial check or you'll get nothing at all. Another report has indicated that both parties agree on extending the federal unemployment benefit. Uh, that is the $600 per week benefit that expired as of July 31st and has been expired for pretty much about a week technically. So both parties are in favor of extending the unemployment boost, the unemployment benefit from the federal government. Republicans, they issued from the HEALS Act a $200 per week boost, and that runs through October 5th. The Democrats, they stand behind their proposal or their past bill, the HEROES Act that they passed through the House, and that is $600 per week to the end of this year. 
Now, this is where they're fighting, and this is where they are in a big disagreement. Mitch, Mitch, uh, not Mitch McConnell, um, Steve Mnuchin has came out and stated multiple times that it's a disservice to be paying people more to stay home than it is to pay people to go to work. And I get it. I understand it doesn't make sense to pay somebody more to stay home than it does when they actually go to work. But here's what you need to understand, and this is a huge factor into this, is that as of right now, there are almost 20 million Americans that are on unemployment. As of right now, also, there are not 20 million jobs available. So currently, it is estimated that for every four to five people on unemployment, there is one job available. So if there's one job available, you got five people trying to get this one job, what do you think is going to happen? Right? That's the problem. Then there's still four people that are on unemployment. Tried to get that one job, didn't get it. This guy did. But now these people are looking sad because now they didn't get it and they still don't have any federal unemployment. They're still making less than what they could have if they did get that job, if they did go and work. So that's one of the issues. But Democrats are not stuck on that $600 per week for the end of the or up to the end of the year that is not like a hard set number hard set figure that's not Nancy Pelosi has reiterated many times the amount of money that is given as an enhancement for unemployment insurance should relate to the rate of unemployment this is what um, this is what uh, Charles Schumer stated uh, about a few weeks ago or maybe a month ago he he pretty much proposed this exact same thing and that is as unemployment as the rate drops down below 10 percent so does the income the 600 dollars per week figure that also would drop down to coincide with the unemployment rate so they'd keep going down and eventually once it got down to i think five percent then the whole federal unemployment boost would be gone completely and that would be a great alternative. And I think this is something that the Republicans should look at because if they are serious about this is we're going through a V-shaped recovery, it only makes sense to do something like this, like Nancy Pelosi was stating or like Charles Schumer proposed about a month ago. This would make sense because it could also save the U.S. government a lot of money if we do go through that sharp V-shaped recovery. But as of right now, many people are predicting a K-shaped recovery. If you don't know what a K-shaped recovery is, I didn't know what that was either until I read about it and learned what this was. A K-shaped recovery actually goes in two different directions. Okay, You got this bottom direction, the bottom of the K, which is technically where the, the poor people, the middle class are at. It's going to go up a little bit, but then it's going to drop. But you got the upper class, okay? People that have more money, the wealthier people. Okay, these people up here, we are down in the bottom of the V and then also all of a sudden it goes up, okay? So we got two different paths here, okay? This is the K. We got two different paths. Now, that would be horrible for people that were on the, the lower end, even the middle class people that are struggling. They're not gonna be going up. We're not gonna see that V-shaped recovery. That's going to be an issue. And I think this proposal right here that Nancy Pelosi was stating and that uh, Charles Schumer proposed about a month ago, this would be a very good thing to the American people and to the U.S. economy as a whole. So I think this would be a great option, but that's just me. What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you are on unemployment or know somebody on unemployment, do you think this would be a good option that their federal unemployment boost is tied to the unemployment rate of the state or of the government, right? Of the entire US. Let me know down in the comment section below. So the unemployment extension is one of the first things that the Democrats and the Republicans are fighting over. The second thing, which Mitch McConnell has stated, this is his red line. He's drawn the red line right here. Democrats want liability protection for the workers. That's what Democrats want. Okay, Republicans want, and specifically Mitch McConnell wants, liability protection for the business. And it makes sense to have liability protections for both 
However, what the, the Democrats are fighting against is Mitch McConnell's proposal is to pretty much let any business off the hook. They cannot get sued within the next five years simply because it is written in this bill. Now, there will come a time where people will be very negligent and someone might get um, COVID-19 and come, you know, contract the virus in someone's business or in a school or in a hospital. And there isn't much someone can do about that. However, if they are being very negligent, that's the thing. But how do you prove someone is being negligent? And that's the hard part. And that's where the Democrats and the Republicans are fighting. I don't see anything getting resolved in that anytime soon, but I think it needs to, because I know a bunch of business owners currently where I live, there are a handful of business owners that will not open simply because they are worried someone will come in and sue them, take all their stuff, all their money, and their business will be gone. Now, just yesterday, Mark Meadows came out and said on CBS, I am not optimistic that there will be a solution in the very near term. That has me worried. That has me worried because this is a guy that was in the meetings. So this is a guy that has been in all the meetings. And he comes out and says yesterday after the, the meetings were very productive, he comes out and says he doesn't think there's going to be uh, a solution in the very near term. Again, that has me worried. I'm not sure about you, but let me know down in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on that statement? Here's another thing that has been a disagreement between the Democrats and the Republicans. Nancy Pelosi stated yesterday that Republicans continue to resist a public health strategy to attack the virus. And she has said this because Republicans are not going to give any money or do not want to give any money to state and local governments, any new funding for state and local governments. All they want to do is rework the the term so that they can spend some of the money that they currently have on different things which as of right now they're pretty much locked into spending their money on certain things that the government said they can spend it on uh, steve mnuchin defended the administration saying that democrats demanding one trillion dollars for a new state and local government aid is a non-starter so we got the republicans on one hand they want to issue zero dollars zero big old zero dollars in new state and local government funding and then we got the democrats on the other hand that want to do one trillion dollars in new state and local government funding that's a huge swing zero to not to uh, to one trillion dollars that's big that's going to be very hard to overcome now the republicans have been very uh they've been somewhat negotiable on this figure they are at zero however they are willing to negotiate the democrats on the other hand are not willing to negotiate they want to stick with that one trillion dollar amount and it's simply because nancy pelosi charles schumer and many other democrats do not want to be in this same position in two or three months they understand there's an election coming up they cannot be worried about this pandemic they can't be worried about having to issue more funding to state and local governments. They can't worry about all these different things when the election is coming up very quickly. And they understand that. Republicans, on the other hand, don't seem to, to understand how important this is. This one bill, if it's done correctly, will push us through into 2021. If this one bill done incorrectly or is underfunded, then we will not get into 2021 before another stimulus package will need to be talked about, will need to be negotiated, and will need to be passed. Now, this has been a video of a bunch of bad news, right? I wanna give you some good news. You stuck around this long, let me give you some good news in regards to the next stimulus check timeline. Steve Mnuchin stated that whenever a bill is passed, that he could start sending the first round of stimulus payments as quickly as one week after. So to put this into his perspective, if somehow the, the Democrats and the Republicans agree today, today is August 3rd. If somehow they can agree and it gets passed today, that's just if, I highly doubt it will, but let's say it does, then 
Steve Mnuchin stated he could have the first round of stimulus payments, direct stimulus payments. That means it's a direct deposit right to your bank account. He could have these to you by next Monday, by August 10th. Now let's just assume it doesn't happen today, and I don't think it will. Let's say it doesn't happen until August 7th. That's this Friday, the last day before the Senate goes on recess for 31 days. If they can pass this on August 7th, Steve Mnuchin has stated he can have the first round of direct stimulus payments to the American people by August 14th. That's very quick. That's one week. That's faster than we originally had planned. So I know there's a lot of uncertainty in this world right now. One of the reasons why I continue to do these stimulus check updates is because a lot of you guys have just been asking to stay updated. You don't have time to go and read through hours and hours of articles and see the same stuff. So you would rather have a video that is updated daily based on new information, but also reiterates the same stuff that has been being talked about. That's what I'm trying to do here in these videos. Now, one thing I do understand is just watching these stimulus check videos does not really get you ahead. It keeps you updated and it maybe keeps you, you know, feeling safer, a little more satisfied right now. However, a lot of people are out of their job. They're being faced with a eventual eviction. Here's one of the things I've been trying to do. I've been trying to create more and more videos on how to make money online. This is one of the ways I personally make an income is I make money online. I do YouTube videos, I do courses, do personal one-on-one -on -one coaching, do affiliate marketing, I sell eBooks, I sell t-shirts, I sell physical products on eBay, Amazon, and other marketplaces as well. I am a full-on entrepreneur. I work from home, I work online, right? So if you have any questions on how to make money online, all you gotta do is comment down below and let me know what you're interested in and I will help you make money online. Now, I will also put a handful of links down in the description box below. So if you want to make money from home using the power of the internet, just go down to the bottom of the description box and look there. All right guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed today's second stimulus check update and stimulus package update. I will re I will do some more research today and like I said, like I stated earlier, if there's any big update that needs to be addressed, I will come back and do another video later on today. If not, I'll do a full on update tomorrow morning. So thank you for watching today's second stimulus check update. Do me a favor, like always, smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll see you guys on the next one.